In order to explain the process of evolution, I need to talk about DNA and proteins. See, your DNA produces proteins. That's the main function of DNA. We often think of proteins as some type of component within food that makes you strong. But in actual fact, proteins are complex biomolecules that often act like molecular machines produced within your cells to carry out virtually all of your cells' functions. Human DNA has about 20,000 different genes, and each of those genes carries the instructions for a different type of protein. Yeah, you actually have tens of thousands of different types of proteins that are responsible for all of the characteristics that make you, you. Everything from your skin color, to your blood type, to whether your hair is curly or straight, even your ability to taste peppermint, it's all controlled by the proteins within your cells. A DNA mutation might change one type of protein just a little bit to make it more effective at its job, or a little bit less effective at its job, or change its job altogether. When there's a mutation in the DNA of a sperm cell or an egg cell, that mutation becomes inherited by the corresponding offspring. With that modified genetic information, the offspring would now produce modified copies of whatever protein was associated with that gene. And whatever trait that that protein is responsible for is now a little bit different in the offspring compared to the parents. If the newly modified trait results in a higher average reproductive output, then over subsequent generations, that new trait would spread throughout the population. This is the process of evolution. And as this process occurs repeatedly over broad temporal and spatial scales, it can even lead to speciation.